We got the all-time Wizards versus the all-time Knicks here. Both these teams are one and two. Um, Wizards uh, disappointed one and two, man, after after being, what, second in the East last season uh, and then taking a, a first-round exit and then starting this season off one and two. Uh, right now, they got to be ticked. They're looking to steal one on the road. Um, whereas the Knicks, I mean, you know, they're a team that's... They've been rebuilding for a little bit. They were very old to start the franchise. Um, now they got Curtis Anthony. They got Paul Nixon, a rookie, uh, coming in. You know, they're finally getting a little bit of youth in this lineup. They're hoping to finally get back into the playoffs after, what, three, four seasons of missing the playoffs with this team. Um, but going one of two, not looking well for them. But, they, you know, you got to give Paul Nixon, you know, the time, to, the, the rookie, time to mesh, especially if you're throwing him into the fire starting off rip. But, uh, you know, they're hoping that they can at least be a team that isn't 500 at home here tonight. Welcome. The 2K Sports, everyone. We have some exciting NBA action coming up with two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke and Grant Hill. I'm Brian Anderson. Say, here you, you better tip on the We've page, got bro. the Washington like Wizards nine, so. facing the New York Knicks. And now the Washington there Wizards you starters. There you go. Yeah, you out there now. Look, look, oh, Carmelo already getting double. Here's Nixon. And look at the wax and days of the Washington. That's kind of their MO. Right, this Washington team. That's what they do. They're all about offense. Right, they... Uh, don't care to play defense at all. The whole Here's thing Frazier. is we're going to score every time we're in court. They will live and die the arc. by that philosophy. Frazier shot is off. Outside wall. Hayes with a screen. Jacks up a three. Ooh. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. It's so far going 0-2. Here's Nixon. Very Lost characteristic. <laughs> and this Wizards team here. The top of the key mm. jumper is mm. on the mark. Such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end, and you love his confidence. Here's Arenas for three. And yeah, that's good. Good. Coming on the assist by Wall. They went 0-2, but made no mistake. You give him a sliver of space. On time and on target creates an easy look for his mm. teammate. Frazier. Ooh. That was a circus pass right there. Yeah, with Wall. accuracy. Oh, oh, but then he lost control. Nice Nixon. Five on the clock. Rookie Nixon. Here's Back Anthony. to the second year, man. Perfection with the jumper from the elbow. You know, outstanding. Anthony strong. able to get to go. And the first quarter of action, two minutes in. Mm. And there's a pick. Mm. Here's Arenas. Hayes with a screen. And off the left side of the rim, it swirls in for him. He's got five. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Mm. That's a decent look for him. He just couldn't convert. Hayes, the pass to Wall. Step back and fire. Kept alive by Washington. Ooh, That's John Arena. Wall. Look at him passing the ball. From well, Finding an open man. They missed their no first problem. two shots. And they're still up on this. And here's Anthony. I mean, their offense is potent. If you're Anthony the Knicks, outside. you got to make make the most of your offensive possessions for sure against a team that doesn't really Anthony care about playing defense. you got to make them pay for that. Right back with their own three-pointer. And this is partly what the That's game how you beat this. Become, right? a this team, no rush on offense. And give yourself a chance to get set Here's Arenas. on defense. Five points in the game. A basket. Here's Wall. If you don't get set on defense, that went off the back iron and out. this Wizards team will take advantage of you. Uh, Wall's cold, so they got to find out who's going to step and up. Here's Anthony, Hills and pounded by Beal. Beal. Washington. There's so much respect for Carmelo Anthony, bro. Like, off the rip, dude was getting doubled in his first possession of the game. He gets in the post, he's getting doubled. And we're just over three and a half so minutes into this first quarter. Is the question. 
Oh yeah, getting doubled again. Anthony in the post. He's still <laughs> so <laughs> Oh my gosh. They're literally doubling him. And he's just dribbling through traffic, dribbling around everybody. No good on the shot. New York goes the other way with it. Getting the bucket. Throwing it down over top of two people. It doesn't really much matter. And stolen by Hayes. Pass to Arenas. From downtown. Oh, he nails that one. Three for four. He had his choice there. Bradley Bill or Gilbert Arenas. Either one of them. Here's Either side. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet. You don't want to be in transition against this Wizards team. Now, Anthony. Look, he'll get doubled again. Shoots over Beal. <laughs> Shoots over both people. He doesn't. He gives zero fluffs. Literally zero, zero fluffs given by Carmelo right now. To Beal. From about 19. Hmm. Couldn't, couldn't make the pass. It's Christmas and needed to. I mean, even cold, bro. John Wall's game. Very John Wall is still going to rise and fire. Area. They set the pick. Ooh, double screen. Here's Frazier. Oh, Frazier. Oh, I think he he, he kind of stuttered. He was expecting. And here's Wall. Ooh. Great teamwork and great timing. Oh, spectacular play. And he was expecting Elvin Hayes to jump, and he didn't. And then, again, in transition. So the squad is dangerous. Wall. They're going to run it back on that double screen. Here's this time, Wall he's just going to put it up. That shot is off. Nice D oh, from Beal. It's a chess match between Wall Frazier and the bigs of inside of the Wizards here. Here's Hayes. We got three seconds here. Ooh, solid defense from Anthony. Kind of had to get something going. I mean, he could have passed it back out. Here's Ewing. Oh, wow. I would say, if you're the Knicks, really, just go to work down low with these guys. Here's Ewing. He's defended by Hayes. Ewing gets it to go. Well, there's and no way Elvin Hayes should be able to defend has. I mean, Patrick he Ewing can easily see over the at all. And he has got such good touch from that medium range area. It's an option oh, wow. to always go to. Oh, wow. On the left. Wes Unsell, 6'7", getting the rebound over Patrick Outside Ewing. Outside wall. Five to shoot. Oh, that's a bad shot. He can't get Especially when you had Gilbert the Arenas. Go the other way with it. Or Bradley Bill. Basically Anthony, wide open the left from beyond the arc. It would have been a tough pass, but oh, now look, mouse in the house. Mm. Another one falls for New York. So much attention drawn by Melo, able to create the opportunity for his teammate. Now a timeout called by the Wizards, rightfully taking a timeout here. I'm the coach. I'm discussing. Hey, John. Richardson comes in for Frazier. Clear, you're, you're not on fire Wizards. tonight. Monroe right. checked in for Wall. A couple of guys. Wide open beyond the arc. You better make that extra pass, boy. Here's Monroe. <laughs> pass to Beal. Otherwise, I'm taking you. I'm taking you out the game, bro. I'm gonna bench you. Oh, they did bench him. Oh, dang. They didn't even give him that. They just benched him right off rip. Here's so bench John Wall. Nick's got a couple now, guys Anthony. off the bench. Richardson, Gearing, and there's the lob. Willis Reed. <laughs> Oh, wow. Anthony with He's it. saying, hey, man, we're going to substitute half the bench in. Now, Anthony, they still going to dominate you real quick. All we need is Melo right now. He's doing, he's going to work. Walter Richardson. Six to shoot. Anthony in the post. Oh, that's a go. No good yes. from 11 feet. Boy, again, What's so Unsell, bro? He is no slouch. Pressure. You have to convert that. He's super strong. He's undersized, but he's super strong. Has to be a really Bill. Wide open. Three. That's a bucket. On target from range. Beal's got six points. Well, off the screen, you can see Bradley Beal is shot. John Wall can play hero ball. He's playing against some, some bench rivals. But I love how the Knicks took. Ooh. Oh, 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 took Wall for Asia. Put Richardson. Man, when he gets up there, he gets up there. So John Wall isn't going to have that. Impressive looks on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Pass to Hayes. Now Beal. He's guarded by Anthony. And mm, Beal nice gets it to go on Bradley the assist Bill's by Hayes. Give him eight. I like the commitment from Bradley Beal to take it inside and attack the defender. 
this. This game will really grab that uh, kickstart and get that boost of energy. Oh, look at Melo getting double. He Nixon wide open. Oh, wow. Oh! <laughs> oh, what is that? And look at look at the stare down. Read on defense to come up with the block. <laughs> Elvin Hayes. You can't ask for any uh. better defense than that. He gonna send that so to the stands. I'm gonna stare down Carmelo as he does it now. We got a full swap here uh, for the Wizards, and I think a full swap for the Knicks too. Yeah. So Grady Dick, Richie Guerin, uh, Davis Jackson. I believe is his name. All coming off the bench There's for the screen. Knicks. He got ruling. Oh, Ooh. Harris with the block. Mark Marin, uh, Shanier, and then Hawkins. I believe uh, for Wizards. Grady Dick, by the way, really good, really good player. From behind the arc, uh, buries it from three. I'm surprised three. that and now a three -point the Knicks Wizard took lead. him don't want to let off him the get bench into a for, from out there. for Nixon. I mean, Nixon, don't get me wrong. Uh, we heard a lot, saw a lot of good things about him in college, but Grady did really good for him by Harris. last season. Six on the shot clock. Uh, did really, really good for him. So Goes just up and lays it in nice and easy. Like, I'm, I'm expecting a lot from this because he was a Brady this year. I mean, look at Brady for the two. It's so long for the two. 152 left in the first quarter. And he's going for the lob. Mm. I mean, uh, he just crossed that. He just he sees the floor so well from the two spot. Dude. He's, he's got a six nine, six ten. Play in the first quarter. Playing shooting guard. Pass to Shanier. I mean, look. Hmm. Let's the three oh, fly. Wow. And the Wizards. Oh, I like how he just kind of worked three. himself back out. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering he's those so shooters. He's so good at driving. Nobody really wanted to give him the, the opportunity, so he just said, "All right, I'll take it out." Now here's Richardson. Oh, that's not a good look. Oh, Willis Reed. I saw that shove. The Wizards for the lead. And you're the Wizards on the road. Here's haven't the road. had the best sh efficiency shooting the ball. If you're still up. I'm liking my odds for the rest of this game right here, especially since they got. Uh, you know, opportunity to come 58 off, seconds left to play in the first. They and do. He ooh, ooh. Alley -oop up top. It's basically Hammer Oop City home. here. <laughs> oh, great got these short, right there. Hey, you gotta love athletic, athletic bringing it down with some centers. Power forwards. Reed. They really get up there surprisingly. Ooh. Let's read that. <laughs> no, not not playing in. I was going to say the Knicks had a two for one opportunity if they rush, and, and they took them no time to score there. Here's Monroe, and it's Washington with another. This night already has the makings of an offensive war. They score the next five seconds. Really be rushing. Back to Willis Reed. They know they have a mismatch on the floor. They plan on using it. Ruling, hey, he's he's fine with that. Oh. Down low. Here's Harris. And yeah. he drops yeah, that's the mismatch for the them. Post. Aaron's a little yeah, undersized. A they got four Washington seconds lead. here. They got to check up a shot here. Oh. Between the oh, they almost got that. Yeah, man. Down six um, against a team who's known for their ability to put on a, a lot of offense. Um, and you held them to, to, you know, 30 points and you still down. Like, I, I, it's not looking good for the Knicks here. I'd be very surprised if they won. <laughs> and surprised I am, man. Uh, how'd they do it? Well, they just got to line a bunch. I, I don't, I don't get it. Just, I mean, they, they edged them out on rebounds. I mean, it's a seven point game. Turnovers. Oh yeah. Look at that. An extra 10 possessions off turnovers. 
and they edged them out on rebounds. And their bench buried them by 13 points. Um, so, I mean, yeah, their, their bench pretty much did it all for them. I mean, they were down 10 at half. And then gave it all up in that third quarter. Down two. And then after that, the Knicks just poured it on. Wow. Yeah, I mean, look at the difference in assists. And the bench really killed him in the fourth. Really killed in the turnover differential in the fourth. Yeah, that, that's that's what did it. Wow. Uh, Bradley Beal, 23 points. Gilbert Arenas, oh, 7 of 9, by the way. Gilbert Arenas, 22 points. 9 of 17, not, not the best, but not bad. John Wall went 5 of 13. You can't have that. Yeah, he went 3 of 6 from beyond the arc, but he went 5 of 13 overall. There was definitely some times he, he should have been making more passes. We wouldn't have seen more from him on that front. Um, Elvin Hayes, though, I just want to point out three blocks on Patrick Ewing. That's impressive. Okay. For that size differential, that, that that's impressive on the night. Three blocks is impressive in general. Um, elite. But, but for him on this particular night to get that, very impressive. Um, but Carmelo, I mean, it's absolutely eight, man. He was getting doubled from the jump. It didn't really much matter. He was scoring over two people. He was taking it up over them. He was fading over them from deep. You know, he did, he was really, any time he wanted to score, he scored. He went five or seven from beyond the arc. And then because he was getting doubled, easy passes for assists. I mean, nine assists on the night. Uh, Willis Reed had 22 points off the bench. They realized that mismatch was was happening down low. They took advantage of that immediately. Patrick Ewing had a double double with rebounds, um, but also I mean Curtis Anthony had a couple blocks, good rebound numbers for them as well. Um, Richie Guerin had had a solid stat line. Tracy Jackson Davis went three of four. Walt Frazier had four steals. Um, I, I mean, you know, Richardson, two of two. <laughs> uh, yeah, Paul Nixon. Sure, he had two blocks. He had a steal. He had a couple assists, a couple rebounds, whatever. But he went one of five. I don't know why you take him out for Grady Dick, but then when Grady Dick did literally nothing this game. So, I mean, Paul Nixon continues to prove why he, he should start over Grady Dick at least. But <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, what, what's what's the he's six six? What's Grady Dick? Grady Dick six eight, bro. Six eight. Yeah, maybe he should be playing small forward. 